In this session I'm going to show how to find the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of two numbers using vertically and crosswise the Vedic Sutra. But first of all uh, we'll just, I'll just run over um, the basic idea of finding uh, HCFs and LCMs with a simple example like uh, 12 and 18. Now the, uh, the first conventional method is to uh, break down 12 into its prime factors, so that's 2 times 2 times 3, and likewise to break down 18 into its uh, prime factors, it's 2 times 3 times 3. Then to find the, the highest common factor, we look for common factors, here are two twos and here are two threes, and the product of those gives the HCF. So HCF is 2 times 3 equals 6. For the LCM, we take a one of these 2s, we take one of these 3s, and then the remaining factors and multiply them all together. So that would be 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 is equal to 36. The second way in which uh, the HCF and LCM are found conventionally is by placing the prime factors into a Venn diagram like this and here this circle represents the factors of 12 and this one for 18 and we put common factors in the intersection zone so the 2 and the 3 are placed here and the remaining factors of 12 is just 2, so that's 2 times 3 times 2 is 12, and for 18 is 3. And the product of the uh, numbers in the intersection is the HCF, so the HCF is 2 times 3 is 6, and then the product of all four of these numbers gives the LCM, again 36. Now the vertically and crosswise method it doesn't, doesn't uh, require breaking the numbers down necess necessarily into prime factors. And it works like this. We, we set out the two numbers, 12 and 18, and we find a number that can divide into both of these. Well, if we, if we say, okay, 2 goes into both of these, and that goes 6 times, and 2 into 18 is 9, and we can further divide 6 and 9 by 3, giving 2 and 3. And these, uh, remain, these remaining numbers <coughs> are uh, co-prime, they're relatively prime, and so no more division can take place. For the HCF, we multiply vertically these two numbers. So the HCF is 2 times 3 is 6. And for the LCM, we can multiply all, uh, these two numbers together with the ones at the bottom, 2 times 3 times 2 times 3, or more quickly, we can cross multiply 2 times 18 or 3 times 12, giving 36. So that's the crosswise part. Now we'll have a look at another example. <clears throat> we'll take uh, 24 and 54. Now for the division process we don't have to use prime factors. So we can see that these two numbers are divisible by 6. So we'll divide them. 6 into 24 is 4 and into 54 is 9. And straight away we've arrived at co-prime numbers so no more division can take place. And the highest common factor is this 6. And the LCM is found by cross multiplying 9 times 24 or 4 times 54. That one's easier, that's 216. Well, let's have a look at uh, uh, an example with larger numbers, say 312 and 264. On inspecting these numbers, looking at the last two digits of each, this is a 12 and a 64, 
both of those are divisible by 4 and so uh, the whole numbers are divisible by 4. So 4 into 312, 4 into 31 goes 7, remainder 3, and 4 into 32 goes 8. 4 into 26 goes 6 times, and 4 into 24 uh, goes 6 times. 66. And both these numbers are even, so I'll divide by 2. 2 into 78 is 39, and into 66 is 33. And these are further divisible by 3. So we'll multi uh, divide them, giving 13 and 11. And multiplying vertically here, 2 times 3 times 4 gives the HCF. 24, and we can choose whether to multiply 264 by 13 or 312 by 11. 312 by 11 is, is easier. Put down the last digit, add it to the next, gives 3, add that to the next, gives 4, and put down the 3. So 3432 is the lowest common multiple. And of the various ways in which I've uh, seen uh, HCFs and LCMs obtained uh, with simple arithmetic, uh, I have found this vertically and crosswise method to be the most efficient and the fastest way. So there we have it.